Now after the concept of velocity and acceleration of fluid flow, let's have a look at the next concept that is the velocity potential function which is denoted by a symbol phi. Now this function is a scalar function and this scalar function is of space and time such that its negative derivative with respect to any given direction that is x, y or z will give the fluid velocity in that direction. Okay, so if I find out the negative curly phi by curly x, this means this is the velocity in x direction, u. If I find out minus curly phi by curly y, this would be v, that is the velocity in the y direction. If I find out minus curly phi by curly z, this would be w. So this is the mathematical definition of a velocity potential function. Now if the flow is incompressible and steady at the same time, then the continuity equation for that is curly u by curly x plus curly v by curly y plus curly w by curly z is equal to 0. Okay, so this is for steady incompressible flow incompressible flow. So if I put in the values of u, v and w from that uh, you know definition, so you will have minus curly square phi upon curly x square minus curly square phi upon curly y square minus curly square phi upon curly z square equal to 0. You can take the negative sign common and you will get plus on this. So this becomes a Laplace equation. So I can say that if the stream function or sorry if the velocity potential function satisfies the Laplace equation then the flow is got to be steady and incompressible. Okay. Now let us talk about the rotational velocity of the flow. So if I talk about the rotational velocity in the x direction, omega x, the value for this is 1 by 2 into curly w upon curly y minus curly v upon curly z. You have to remember this. Okay. If I find out uh, curly, uh, w uh, omega y, that is not w, omega y, that is the rotational velocity in y direction then this would be equal to 1 by 2 into curly u upon curly x minus curly w upon curly this would be z and this would be x okay and then i will find out omega z which is 1 by 2 into curly v upon curly x minus curly u upon curly y Okay, so let's put in the values of uh, W, V and U in these three values or equations. So if I put omega x will become 1 by 2 into curly by curly y into what is W minus curly phi by curly z okay, minus curly by curly z into what is V? minus curly phi by curly y. So this clearly indicates it is 0. So this becomes 0 and so will be the values for omega y and omega z. This means that if you have a value of velocity potential function existing, then the flow has to be irrotational. Irrotational means there is no rotational velocity to the flow. Okay. And you know if it is existing, then if it you know satisfies the Laplace equation, then it becomes a steady incompressible flow. So I hope you understood the basic concept of the velocity potential function. Now let's move on to the next function and talk about the stream function.